All right, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program in five minutes. Now we're going to talk about asparagus staging. It's uh, a very silly thing that it's called asparagus staging, but just bear with me. Go ahead and get this TT-38K radial decoupler. All right. Actually, you know what? We'll use the big one. We'll use the TT-70. Set symmetry with the X key to two times symmetry means you're going to get one on both sides. This is just a command module with a little 400 tank. No big deal. All right, now go up to propulsion. We'll grab a couple of... Ah, do we have a 200 tank? Yes, we'll grab a 200 tank. We'll put one of those on both sides. All right. Now, here's one thing we haven't done before. This little orange thing down here, the FX... Whatever, it's a fuel duct. Just grab that. Put one end on the remote tank and then another one on the central tank, okay? Now you can see there's little arrows on there. Fuel is going to flow out of this tank and into that tank. So that's cool, but what's going to happen is this tank is going to... These tanks are going to fuel their own engines, but they're also going to replenish the fuel of the middle tank. So let's put some engines on here. Alright, so now let's take a look at our staging. All right, we've got all three rockets in the bottom stage, and we've got the uh, separators right here. Okay, this is pretty similar to what we've done before, but now here's the interesting part. Still in two times symmetry mode, we're going to add two more of these. Okay. Just like that, we will go back and get two more FT-200 fuel tanks. Make sure I get them on there right. All righty. And now we're going to get a fuel duct, and instead of going from here to the center, we're going to go from this new fuel tank to its neighbor. Okay? So what that means is this tank is going to replenish this tank. So basically what that means is when we're done with these two tanks here, so this tank and this tank will be fueling all five engines. And then when they're empty, we can pop them off and don't have to worry about carrying their weight. And then this tank and this tank will be fueling all three engines. And then when we're done, we can pop them off and we don't have to worry about their weight. Let's check our stage. We want all of the engines in the bottom stage. And then we want to make sure that the first ones to go are the ones furthest out in the fuel chain, which they are. So you can mouse over and see that they get highlighted. So now we are going to just launch this just so you can see what it looks like and how it behaves. We'll be making use of this when we do go to Minmus later. This is a way to get a lot of extra thrust without a whole lot of fuel wasted. Alright, so throttle up, hit T for SAS, and go. Now you'll see we've got five engines. Two of them are draining fast, two of them are draining medium, one of them is draining slowly. But what will be interesting is when the two engines that are draining the fastest are empty. It looks like there's some fuel missing from all of these, but when I pop them off with the uh, staging, they will be, everything else will be totally full. All right, so here we go. Let me hit space bar. All right, I don't know why they blew up. That was weird, but whatever. And now we have three full tanks because those other two were fueling the outside tube. And these two tanks are counting down. And I'm sorry this is taking a little while here, but uh, essentially you're going to see the same thing. The reason this is useful is because by doing it that way, you actually get more specific impulse, more thrust out of it. So there we go. And see, now we have our main fuel tank is still totally full, but we're already 18 kilometers up in the air. So very useful little trick there. Like I said, we'll be using it when we go to Minmus. And that's all for today. More later. Thanks for watching.